So we were able to use the prompt template to generate an output right here in JSON format, but it wasn't exactly JSON. And so now, since we have our prompt in a prompt template, right, and a prompt template object in, in LangChain, we can use these two modules from output parsers. I put them on separate lines, although they can be on the same line, uh, but I feel like it's, uh, it's easier to read. And so we I mean, use these two modules right here to be able to not only uh, automate the format instructions because we don't actually need to write this ourselves, you know, like in the prompt itself, we can automate that. And not only that, but to uh, parse the output. And so we're gonna tell the model to output in a particular format. And then we're gonna tell the structured output parser that we told the model to do this. And then the structured output parser is gonna say, okay, we expect this output. I'm gonna parse the output expecting this format. And so let's see how this goes. So here I'm using the response schema uh, uh, module right here to, to be able to uh, take each one of these fields in our JSON and create its own response schema. And then we're going to put them into a list and we're gonna return it here. And so it's gonna be a list of response schemas. And then we're gonna use the structured output parser to create a response schema or to create a structured output response uh, output parser from those schemas. And it's gonna say, okay, this is what you want. Fine, I'm gonna create a parser and I'm gonna expect this. And what it's gonna do is now we can use this output parser to not only uh, you know, use it to parse the output, but to create format instructions. And so since we're using the response schema module and a structured output parser, it expects for this to be in JSON format. That's how it interpreted it. And these words right here are actually gonna be inputted into our prompt. And so when we go down here to our template, we're not gonna write our format instructions anymore. We're gonna take these format instructions given to us by this output parser that we created and then we're gonna pull, we're gonna slam them into the template the same way we did the company description. And so we do that, and I'm gonna print out the template. And as you can see, it says extract the following details from the description of a company. Uh, this is the company description that got filled in, but now we added in those format instructions from the output parser. And so it says, hey, but make sure we out we output it in this way. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass those messages in and generate a response. And as you can tell, it outputs a JSON. It outputs in that format with triple backticks and JSON. And it outputs, it, it did extract everything just fine. And now what we're gonna do is use the output parser to, to parse this into a, a Python dictionary, but JSON format, but it's a Python dictionary in our case. And so we parse the output, calling the parse method on the output parser on the response. Its type is a dictionary, it's a Python dictionary, and we can access keys the same way we do a dictionary. So I can access the name, EcoFusion Technologies, I can access the sector, etc. And so that's how we, autom we automated the format instructions using the response schemas and the output parser. And then we use that output parser, uh, since it expects this particular schema here, to, to parse the output into a, a Python dictionary. And now in our routing example, where we were trying to classify a user inquiry to a department in a store, we would have that output a Python dictionary. And then now we can really do some work in terms of routing it to the right uh, department. And so that and we can, and even in this case, we could store this in a, in a document, uh, a NoSQL database like Mongo or something like that. So it's a really powerful tool and it helped us automate not only the format instructions, but also parsing the output.